Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the post infusion rate on your pumps. And I'm also going to be showing you how to zero your pumps. So, essentially, I'm going to go ahead and add a new patient. We're going to be in the critical care department. We're going to go to my primary channel, and I'm going to put in a drug that I want to change the post infusion rate for. This is going to be, for example, Levofed. So, I'm going to type in norepi, and let's just say the drug that I'm giving is a double strength levo, so I'm going to choose the 8 and 250. And we're doing mics per kg per minute, the patient's 70 kgs, and we're giving this at 0 0.05. It's going at 6.6 .6 mLs an hour. And I need to order my bag, my next bag of Levofed, two hours in advance. Let's say that just for safety reason, I want to put this at, you know, 200. So that way when it alarms, it tells me, okay, I need to give, I need to go ahead and order another bag. So, um, ooh, this brings up another point. So right now it's going at 6.6 .6 mLs an hour. So that's set to run for 30 hours and 18 minutes. But this is actually going to run for 30 hours and 18 minutes because I don't want to be hanging a medication for more than 24 hours so if that happens with you you're at a very low uh, dose of levofed and it's going in pretty slowly and what you want to do is in this case this patient's on double strength maybe we want to switch them to single strength but if they can't handle the fluid then essentially we just need to order a new bag every 24 hours um, so for this reason I'm just going to change this to let's say we're giving it at one mic per kg per minute. Essentially what this means is, or no, I don't want to do that either. Sorry, I'm undecisive. Let's do 0 0.5. So 0 0.5, that's going at 65.6 .6 mLs an hour, and I need two hours in advance to order this bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my volume to be infused for two hours. So 70, around 70 times two hours is 140. 140 minus 250, that is 110. So in an hour and 40 minutes, I need to order another bag. So I'm gonna go, I would go ahead and press start uh, because this is attached to a patient and I have a red cap at the end. I'm gonna actually put this in standby. So um, let's kind of go over what essentially would happen if I ran out of volume. If I ran out of volume on my Levofed, what's actually going to happen is the pump will stop the trans stop the infusion and it will run at a KVO rate. The KVO rate on the Hespira pumps is 1 ml an hour. So what this means is say I had my two patients and I'm in my other patient's room. Say it's now been an hour and 40 whatever minutes um, until I have to order my other bag and it alarms. It's going to say you've run out of volume and it's going to run at 1 ml an hour. So what's essentially happened is it's gone from going at 65.6 .6 mLs an hour to 1 ml an hour. Now being levofed, it, this is a medication to support blood pressure so I met, uh, you can only imagine what would probably happen. My patient's blood pressure would definitely start to drop. Um, if my patient was super sensitive, this could be a really dangerous situation. So what we can do to prevent any you know, acute event from happening is change the post-infusion rate. So to do that, what you have to do is you have to stop the infusion. So if the pump is running, you will have to stop it. So make sure that you know how to change the post-infusion rate before stopping it. If you don't know, then essentially you can just keep it running and kind of find it if you forget this video exists. Um, but you'll go to settings and then you'll be choosing post-infusion rate and then you're going to change it from KVO to rate. I can't do this right now because this infusion is running and you can tell because you have your green thing blinking right there. So what I'm going to do is now that I remember how to do this, I'm going to press stop. I'm going to go to settings, I'm going to choose the post infusion rate, and I'm going to choose the KVO slash rate. Now this has changed from KVO to rate, which is going at 65.6 .6 mLs an hour, and I'll press done, 
and previous screen and start so that way my patient's blood pressure doesn't drop uh, just from it being paused. So now when the infusion is done it's going to continue running at whatever rate it is. If I've had to titrate up to one and on my patient because their blood pressure is tanking then essentially it's now running at 131 mLs an hour. It's If I run out of volume, it's going to run at that. Now, this has now kind of messed up my whole plan about ordering another bag, but still, when it stops, if there's still fluid in the proximal tubing, then it's going to run at whatever the rate is. So I'm going to go ahead and press stop because I have a red cap at the end of my tubing and I don't want this pump to alarm. Um, the next thing I'll go over is how to zero your pumps. So we're going to be zeroing our pumps anytime we have a drug that is infusing that is titratable. So I'm changing the dose on this drug frequently, maybe every minute, every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, etc. So that the rate at which it's going is going to be constantly changing. Every eight hours we should be documenting our I's and O's and so the most accurate rate to do that is by zeroing your pump. So please, 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 if you have a titratable drug infusing on your patient, make sure that you're zeroing your pumps. This is to help all nursing staff and their documentation um, to be accurate. So how to zero your pumps. You're going to, this can be infusing while you do this. Essentially what you're going to do is go to settings, go down to volumes infused and press choose, and then what you're going to do is clear the total. You'll go back to previous screen and everything will still be running. Now as you can see, although I cleared the total, the volume infused is still popping up here. So for that reason, make sure that when you're zeroing your pumps, you don't look here to determine how much volume has been infused in your patient. You're going to actually look at into settings and volumes infused to determine, okay, in the last eight hours this much volume has been infused. The other thing about zeroing your pumps is that, you know, people forget or they get caught up on things. So if you come in, say they were supposed to zero the pumps at 6 and now it's 7 and we haven't zeroed the pumps, zero it then. It's going to still save you some time it, uh, in, you know, doing all those calculations for I's and O's. And it's also going to be more and more accurate. Um, same thing if you're, if you're zeroing the pumps and it is, you know, 1.30 and it's close to time, then go ahead and zero them. Um, you don't have to come back in and zero them again because that volume can then be accounted for for the next time. Um, the only things you want to be straying away from is like multiple hours later, which even some people are okay with zeroing the pumps multiple hours later because that's still, you know, four or five hours that they don't have to account for like exact amounts that were infused into the patient. So that is how to zero your pumps. We also talked about the post-infusion rate. Um, so those are the two tips that I have for you and I hope the video was helpful. We'll see you next time.